Rachel Carlene Renee with Loving My Modest Me. For me, modesty is the protection. It is the adorning. And it is the seeing what God has given to me to be precious. For me, it's not homely. It's modest. It's conservative, you would say. So modest means different things to different people. And our views may be similar or, or totally contrary. But first thing I had to learn is that in what God is teaching me is that who he has cleansed called not common. And so that's in Acts 10. And it's precious, valuable. So we are precious, we're valuable, and we're not common because of who our father, if we are in the faith of our Christian walk. So for me, modesty had to be fine to me, precious, not public. So it's like I had to learn what loving me looked like. And for that, I had to come into the knowing of whose I am before I came into the understanding of who I am. So when we're walking around and we don't know whose we are, it's impossible to really come into the knowledge of who we are, who he created us to be, what is our purpose here as we journey through this, this life until the next life everlasting. So one thing I had to learn was to value who I am because of whose I am. So for the person that's listening, if you don't know yet whose you are as a woman of faith, I would advise that you communion with God, go into his word and just go into the word, wherever it may be. Um, the book of Proverbs, she, wisdom defines it. Wisdom is the virtuous woman. So receiving wisdom is the mind and the heart of God, our Lord and Savior Jesus. So we can find out whose we are. And then we can ask what is our purpose? Because then we're coming to the knowledge, the wisdom and the understanding of who we are, or should I say, we're coming to the wisdom, understanding in the knowledge of that. So I pray you get something out of love God, then you can love yourself, and then you can love other people. But know that you are valuable, you are precious in God's sight, a treasure, and who God has cleansed, call not come. I pray the best for you, beloved, in Jesus' name, peace.